Greetings, fellow adventurers. Have you ever wondered what sets one Disney experience from the rest? Well, we're about to answer that question with our resort and room tour here at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. But here's another one for you. Have you subscribed yet? If not, make sure you join our Disney loving community as we have a great big beautiful day and explore one of our favorite resorts. the Port Cochere at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. If we look to the left, we're gonna have the Disney Yacht Club Convention Center. I've actually had a couple of conventions there, really cool space, pretty large in size. And then to the right of the Port Cochere is gonna be your bus stop, which is only gonna take you to Disney's uh, Animal Kingdom theme park and the Magic Kingdom, because at this resort, to get to Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios, you can either walk to both resorts, you could take the Skyliner to Disney's Hollywood Studios, or you could take the Friendship Boat to either of those theme parks. As we get a little bit closer to the front, you're gonna see the pickup location for any airport shuttles, and then bell services to take your luggage, and valet are gonna be over in that podium to the left, and straight ahead is that entrance. And here is their logo as we enter to the building. As you go right in, you're gonna see this awesome globe to the front and center of the resort. To the right, we're gonna have your staircase up to the second level of rooms. Our room is actually gonna be on the right wing here, which is where most of the rooms are at. And then your check-in desk is here to the right as well, and your concierge. Towards the back, it's gonna take you to your transportation options, as well as Disney's boardwalk in the back and even to the pool, storm along bay if you wanted to do that. To the left, far left here, by the entrance is gonna be your bell services desk. There's gonna be a pathway to the convention center if you wanna take a more indoor route. The Ale and Compass Lounge, next to the Ale and Compass is straight ahead and then the Ale and Compass restaurant to the right of that, which is where we're gonna have dinner tonight. And then back to that corner in the back left, is where you're gonna have your walkway to Disney's Beach Club Resort, which is a literal connecting resort here and sister resort to Disney's Yacht Club Resort. So now we're here at the Ale and Compass Lounge area. You'll see their hours are 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. You can get some items from the Ale and Compass restaurant here at the lounge, as well as your specialty beverages and alcoholic drinks. Again, to the left is the convention center, and to the right here is the entrance to Ale and Compass. Here at Ale and Compass, you're gonna have options for a breakfast buffet, as well as a la carte selection for breakfast. And they have an amazing dinner selection, which we'll show you a little bit later. But let's head down to this hallway to the right. Back up that hallway is where we came from, where is where Ale and Compass is at. In fact, Ale and Compass looks outside. If you look to that seating area to the right, that actually looks over to our next point of interest here, which is Storm Along Bay, the probably the largest pool here at Walt Disney World um, includes a basically a miniature water park. It's its own lazy river, three different uh, whirlpool spas, a literal whirlpool, which we could show you a little bit later, an awesome pirate water slide and the like. But we'll go out there in a minute. Let's continue to the left. Really cool feature here is this nice little boat, kind of resembling the nautical atmosphere of Disney's Yacht Club Resort and the Cruise Cup Lounge which is gonna be your lounge that is adjacent to the Yachtsman Steakhouse, one of the signature dining locations here, or the signature dining location here at Disney's Yacht Club and Beach Club Resort. Just look at the menu of the lounge there if you can see any of it. A lot of these items are available at the Yachtsman Steakhouse, so if you just wanna have a nice drink, but have some of the food there as well, you can do that here. Here at Yachtsman Steakhouse, you're gonna have your finest selection of steaks on Disney property. They are done very, very well. I believe some of them are also aged. A lot of them they do cut to order, but you can kind of see the menu there, hopefully. Um, and uh, it is an amazing restaurant to enjoy while you're here. Christy and I have actually had dinner at Yachtsman Steakhouse on a number of different occasions, including an anniversary dinner. It was really cool. They actually gave us a little, almost scroll-like menu to represent our anniversary. One of our favorite locations here, one of the things that we'll tell you we love the most is their creamed spinach. 
Uh, steak and cream spinach kind of go well together. And the ribeye here is amazing. I had a ribeye with bone marrow. Uh, just really good. We weren't vlogging at the time, so unfortunately I don't have any of that video to show you. But just the amount of quality steaks you'll get here. Again, probably some of the best entity property, if not the best. Great atmosphere to have a nice dining, anniversary, birthday, anything you're celebrating here with, with family, especially you're, uh, you know, want to dress up a little bit nicer. Great place to go. But now it's time to check out the highlight of this resort. The number one reason we love the resort most, Storm Along Bay. The Storm Along Bay pool hours are 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. It is still early in the day, so the pool is not quite open yet. But what's great about this is that although all the pools here at Disney property are for the exclusive use of their resort guests, this is even more so at, for Disney's Yacht and Beach Club because it is restricted access. They will have a cast member sitting out here, checking your magic bands, verifying you have a resort stay, and then give you a wristband that will let you into the pool. That way you only have to do it once during your stay. It's a beautiful pool. We'll go inside a little bit later in, a, in this video so you can see more of it. So as the water slide. On this end of the pool on the Yacht Club side, you're gonna have a nice toddler area, which is kind of more shallow with some, uh, with actually the whole pool is all sand bottom. So you'll get to see some of that as well as their lazy river will be on the yacht club side. On the beach club side, we'll head over there for a little bit and kind of tell you more about what's on that side. As we continue to go down to this connecting uh, outdoor corridor that goes to Disney's beach club resort, you're gonna see one of our favorite features of this really mini theme park or mini water park is this little fountains here that goes into this water. It's about five feet deep at this point, um, at this section. And then if you look further down, you will see a, it looks like a line of tubing, which is actually gonna be a pseudo volleyball net that they use, which is where they do all the recreation and games. But again, we'll show that to you a little bit later. And then you'll see the blue hueish buildings over there. That's Disney's Beach Club Resort. So we're gonna continue down this way and show you what else there is to see. For those who want to work out while they're on their Disney vacation, do you have the ship-shaped massage salon and fitness center, which is 24 hours. Again, access restricted by the touchpad there for your magic band or your key card to the world. And then you're going to be able to go inside and check out their equipment. We're not going to go inside there just for the privacy of those guests that are working out. But again, the pool to the right, cool little windmill there. It doesn't actually work, it doesn't look like, but really awesome setup. And here's the main entrance to the pool, which is also, again, restricted access. And actually over by here on that restricted access side, you're gonna see two of the spas they have here. Both of these are adults only. There's this one to the right as you go into the main entrance, and then one to the left here that we really do enjoy them. They do stay nice and warm, especially in those evening swims where it might get a little cooler out. Those are nice to warm up after getting into the pool for a little bit. Also by this main entrance, you're gonna have your restrooms here, which is gonna have your showers, your changing areas, a good place to go if you just wanna get into your swimsuits. When your room is not ready, just have some change of clothes and swimsuits ready to go, um, which is what we're gonna do as our room's not quite ready and enjoy a swim when that pool is open. Another thing that's really cool is as we go towards from the restroom there, you'll see this, it's gray, the grayish tan color here and it turns to blue. That's because we are now officially on the beach club side. And starting out on that side is gonna be your arcade, open 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Um, because it's humid out, of course you can't see through it, but standard arcade, really cool uh, to have at any of our big resorts here. And right next to that is the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop is another sit-down option. Very hard to get reservations at, but the one thing that they're most famous for is gonna be this kitchen sink. It serves four people and it comes with eight scoops of ice cream served with all the toppings in the house and a whole can of whipped cream. It comes in chocolate lovers and Neapolitan flavors. $36, but totally worth it and it's a really cool presentation. We have not done the full-size version, but I will tell you a little bit of what we have done uh, when we get next door to the soda shop here. Before we show you that next location here next to the beaches and cream, I wanted to show you again on the other side of this rock ledge, this fountain here, very relaxing, something you would want to expect to see on your Disney vacation. And if you look further out in the back, you're gonna see the big pyramid shaped looking object there with the little fish. That is the Walt Disney World dolphin. And then next to that's gonna be the Walt Disney World swan. Again, you can walk over there as well as access the uh, the Disney's boardwalk there by by walking, and then of 
course, if you wanted to take the boat over, you can do that as well. If you're not able to get that Beaches and Cream reservation, you can always go to Beaches and Cream to go, but mainly it's gonna be for those ice con concoctions. Um, they don't really have any of the food here, it looks like, but the one thing I was mentioning that we have had before is the mini Mickey sink. It actually comes with some ice cream as well, and you get a souvenir bowl, which we have at home. Another cool option, if you can't do the full one, this is another one to give it a try sometime, and a nice collectible to say that you've done it. If we continue to go further down this walkie, you'll see here the entrance to Disney's Beach Club Resort and the Beach Club Lobby. Because this is a Yacht Club Resort tour, we're not gonna go in there, and, but we are gonna show you a little bit here of the pool. You're gonna see the exit to the water slide down this way, as well as the Whirlpool area, which again, we'll show you a little bit later, and then the recreation section in the middle there. Now, of course, as a resort guest here at Disney's Yacht Club Resort, because Disney's Beach Club Resort is a sister location, of course, as with really any restaurants here at Disney property, you're more than welcome to dine at Disney's Beach Club Resort. The couple of locations to note there is Martha's Vineyard, which is kind of a lounge style access, kind of like Crew Cup, Cruise Cup Lounge. And then you've got Cape May Cafe. In the morning time, they have a character breakfast with Minnie and friends, which again, I'm not gonna go in there now because it's breakfast time and probably a lot of people in there. And then for dinner, they have like a clam bake uh, option there, which was uh, one of, we had uh, dinner there last December. Amazing food if you like your seafood. Great location to enjoy a nice dinner. But now we're gonna head back inside. We're going to check out a couple of more things at this resort and then head over to our room because we just got a notice that our room is ready and want to give you a tour of that. Before we head back inside, we did see that the ducks have come to play in the pool. One thing I've noticed, especially at this pool, since we've stayed here multiple times, is that the ducks really love this pool and they're just swimming and having a good time. They'll even get in there when humans are in there as well. Really cool to see and have them enjoy the pool as well. Bye duckies. We made it back inside to Disney's Yacht Club Resort and again, the check-in area there to the right. If we look further down, there's that second floor, which again, I, I might've mentioned our room will be on the second floor. There's gonna be a little kids area here to the left while parents are checking in where they can enjoy some Disney classics. And straight ahead is where we're headed. There's some rooms down there, but there's one spot I do wanna show you of importance to know while you're staying here. Before we head over to the other location, I do want to show you a glimpse here of the map of Disney's Beach and Yacht Club Resort. You can kind of see where everything is situated. We are now at this red dot here. Again, there's Storm Along Bay. The beach club's on the right side with the beach club villas. There's your convention center. And then we're on the Yacht Club side on the left side here. And of course, this also shows you the different resort shopping and dining. We did mention Cape May Cafe. Beaches and Cream, Martha's Vineyard Lounge, Cruise Cup Lounge. Hurricane Hannah's Bar and Grill is gonna be the pool bar here. Ale and Compass, of course, we mentioned. Yachtsman Steakhouse. The market at Ale and Compass is where we're headed, and then Ale and Compass Lounge is, uh, again, next to Ale and Compass, the restaurant. Over at Disney's Beach Club Resort, you're also gonna have a quick service location, which is the Beach Club Marketplace. But here at the Yacht Club side, I believe this is relatively new. I don't remember it being here, or at least last time we stayed here. But you have the Market at Ale and Compass, which is gonna have your quick service items, your fruit in the morning, pastries, some entrees as well for lunch and dinner time. We're gonna head inside real quick, show you what's inside, not do too thorough of a look, because there's people in there. But let's go inside. And now we're at the Market at Ale and Compass, and straight ahead, you're gonna have merchandise, Halloween themed, of course. The right side of this market is gonna have your merchandise for Disney's Beach Club Resort. I'm sorry, Disney's Yacht Club Resort. They have some themed items there, like that shirt in the front here, and some other things in the back, some beachwear, because you're gonna spend a lot of time at the beach here, or at least at the pool, because it's amazing. And then to the left, you're gonna have your market area. You're gonna have your ordering desk there, where they're gonna make the food to the left. There's seating area towards the back. Some snack options and coolers to the right, as well as a microwave that's able to be used. And then freestyle machines for your resort refillable mugs and any drinks you purchase. I did forget to show you guys outside here the display, although some of this merchandise may or may not be here when you guys visit. Just to take a look at some of the stuff they have on display here in the merchandise window. Again, nautical themed. I do like this Mickey shirt. And just take a look at that theming there. 
Heading back towards the lobby area from the market at Ale and Compass, we go to the right, you're gonna have your elevators, which is gonna take you to the second floor and higher. I believe there's five floors to this resort. There's also gonna be access to the Regatta Club, which is their club level here. If you check out our video in the upper right-hand corner and in the description, you'll see a little tour that we had of the Regatta Club on one of our previous visits, one of our first vlogs, and we'll show that to you on that video. But let's head on upstairs and see what the floor looks like before we head to our room. Before we head upstairs, one little thing over by the check-in desk I wanted to show you. So they have an old-fashioned looking letter box here. This actually does take actual mail. So if you have any postcards to send out while you're vacationing or letters or any other business, you can send it right here. But let's go down to the lobby to the right and up those stairs on the right-hand side. As we go up these stairs, you'll see this cool little wheel here for captaining your own ship, being the yacht of the yacht club, overlooking to the lobby, and then to the right, Sorry, to the left here, you're gonna have your stairs up to the second level. And then check out the carpeting. You're gonna see, looks like Australia there, but it's got the old like fashioned map to drawings you would have. There's a compass rose, although it doesn't show in north. But still, we're gonna go to the left and check out the hallway. Here on the second floor, there's also some seating areas, as well as a nice desk. Looks like very executive looking if you wanna uh, work on some stuff while you're here and there's no one there. Down to the right is gonna be where the rooms are at and of course the elevators right there. So that concludes the tour of the public areas here at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. But now we're gonna go ahead and show you the room because again, it is ready. We wanna see what that's like and then maybe take a moment to go to the pool, Ellen Compass for dinner, and even maybe even explore the boardwalk this evening. We are in room 2125 on the second floor. Let's go ahead and go on in. I already turned on all the lights for you guys. As we enter, first spot to the left, it's gonna be your coffee area with of course your Keurig coffee maker and your selection of Keurig coffees and Joffrey's. Beverage cooler underneath. And a little drawer of course with your cups and lids, plastic cups as well, and your ice bucket. To the right is gonna be your sliding door that takes you into the bathroom, which we'll check in just a second. To the left, your closet, with your hangers, your luggage rack, and then the next to that, we're gonna have your safe and even an ironing board, and it looks like a steam iron. On the other side, we have the bathroom with your double vanity, of course your H2O products like usual, nice mirror, lighted vanity mirror as well, hair dryer on the bottom, and then your toilet and shower area. It is just a shower with frosted glass. It opens up and you've got your drying line for your swimsuits, kind of a rainforest shower with handle attachment. Very cool looking shower there, of course. HGO products are actually portable ones at this resort. Moving into the main room area, you're gonna see a connecting door in this room. Of course, you're gonna have your TV welcoming you. Two queen size beds in this very subtle but nautical like theming, of course, for the yacht club. You've got your Mickey towels, a little note from Dumbo there. And then you've got your cabinet space. It looks like there's extra pillows and blankets underneath. This little sofa does pull down as a fifth sleeper. So you do have a total accommodation sleeping area for five. And of course they have the hardwood floors, easier to clean than your carpets. Your telephone there. And then an actual nice desk area separate from everything else in the corner and even a mirror that's got a porthole look to it. And then we have our balcony area, which we're gonna go ahead and open up and step outside. And we have a nice water view balcony. It's another pretty spacious balcony with your two chairs. And seeing out here, you have a little canopy. I don't know if this is a resort view or water view, I don't remember, but if you see down there, you will see the lighthouse. That is where you're gonna have your boat transportation to Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios. If you want to go over to the Boardwalk side, you can do that as well, as well as the Walt Disney World Swan and Walt Disney World Dolphin. And you can also see Bayside Marina, which I believe is where you would catch 
or do any rentals for any of the pontoon boats that they have sitting there. So and way down at the end there, you're gonna see the boardwalk. So I hope you enjoyed our little tour of our room there. If you like this video so far, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel to get more updates on other future room tours, as well as our Disney cruise, which is coming up here very soon. Whole reason we're doing this resort stay is because we're going to that cruise in a couple of days, and we want to share that with you. In the meantime, let's head down to Stormalong Bay, which is Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort's main pool area. Also, probably the best pool at Walt Disney World Resort. Not just my opinion and my family's opinion, but of many people here at Walt Disney World. And we're gonna show you now. So as we head outside the pool area, you're gonna see the boardwalk and boardwalk in over there on the other side. There's a nice little quiet pool here on our way to the Pirate water slide. There's actually in this little quiet pool, there's actually a little small slide for the little kids as well. From here on the stairs going up to the top of the slide, you'll see the light tower, which is where the boat picks up for Disney's Hollywood Studios, Epcot, as well as the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resorts. And again, another beautiful view of the boardwalk. And over in there, you'll see the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin. And to the right is the Yacht Club side of Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort. Further up the slide, there again is Stormalong Bay and Disney's Yacht Club Resort. To the right in the blue is Disney's Beach Club Resort. Check out the front part of the slide over there. And then here is the tube, which comes from the top all the way down. It is all enclosed. It is now time for us to go on the Flying Jib water slide at Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort. All right, there we go. especially if this is the first time in the pool is we're taking the slide down first because then you can experience the awesomeness of the sand bottom that Stormalong Bay has. So coming off the water slide, looking around, of course you have the lifeguard stand there and back towards that way where all those other people are, it's gonna be the actual whirlpool here at the Yacht and Beach Club Stormalong Bay. We're gonna head over there now. I've never experienced any other whirlpool except here at Stormalong Bay. This current actually pushes you around, um, kind of like what in a lazy river or any fast moving river like we experienced at Aquatica, which you can see that video in the description and I'll put a link at that in the upper right hand corner. But I'm literally getting pushed around really, really fast and actually I've already rotated around this whirlpool once just while talking to you guys. Coming out of the whirlpool area, again, slide to the left. There's another area just uh, kind of, you know, just to chill here at this big mini water park and then to the right towards the rest of the pool on the Yacht Club side. And then here's where you're gonna have now the volleyball your as well as movie. your recreation staff doing trivia and things like that. Cocoa. Now past the recreation area, to the right is a little waterfall. Then you're gonna have the hot tub straight ahead and to the left, it's gonna be your way towards the Lazy River. Yes, I said Lazy River because here at Stormalong Bay, they actually have a Lazy River. The only one you will find outside of the water parks here at Walt Disney World. And I'm actually getting into the deep end because I'm starting to have your tiptoes. So if we actually keep hanging right, you're actually gonna see some steps because up to the right here is where you're gonna have your whirlpool tub, which there's some people in it now, but that's up on the right hand side. And then keep going, you're gonna find more areas to swim. And the Lazy River is gonna be on the other side in its own section which is gonna be the deepest water they have here at Stormalong Bay. Now that we're out of the pool, to the right here of the marker is gonna be just another swim area, and to the left is gonna be your Lazy River, which is where we're gonna go to now. And of course you see a sign down there that says deep water ahead, because there's some deep water. Now there is no real pickup location for the tubes. You just have to kind of get one along the way, or you can swim it. But ideally the tubes are fun because, well, it's a Lazy River and we don't wanna work a whole lot. So that's what we're gonna do right now, is see what we can find to enjoy the Lazy River. All right, I got myself a nice seated one, which is perfect for Lazy River. So we're just strolling along the Lazy River in our little float, 
while we're enjoying our pre-cruise vacation. But if you want to go ahead and see our cruise videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that bell to get those updates when they happen. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you like it and share it with your friends and family as well. If there's any of this information you find helpful, leave us a comment, let us know what you like in these videos, what do you want to see, what you want to hear from any of our future Disney World videos, whether it's the resorts or the theme parks. We'll be glad to try to answer those questions for you. So we're just gently strolling along. You'll see it's four and a half feet right here. But there's the sign that says deep waters ahead. I think that's where it gets to eight feet deep. Pretty good right now, just relaxing and enjoying the river. Over in this area, we're gonna have some sandy beach area for the kids to play in the sand, as well as a shallow area for those little ones who can't get in the deep water. Because right now, if you look over to those stairs, you'll see that the water is about six feet deep at this point. Over here to the right, as we go around this little circle of the Lazy River, you're gonna have Hurricane Hannah's Pool Bar and Grill. So of course your standard pool bar where they actually serve some decent food as well. And it looks like we're hitting the seven foot water, which is I believe actually the deepest. I said eight foot, but seven foot looks to be the deepest that we're heading down in this Lazy River. Okay, so I stand corrected when it comes to the depth of the Lazy River, because it is actually eight feet. I have evidence by that time right there, eight feet looks to be the maximum depth of this water. So nice enough to jump in, of course, no diving allowed, but then we're heading back to seven foot and then down to the five foot area where is where we got on and which is also where we're gonna get off. All right, so as we come to where we started out, you're gonna see Disney's Beach Club Resort right there to the right, again in that blue. And we are about to come to our end of our journey here in the Storm Along Bay Lazy River. So now we're out of the Lazy River and I wanted to go over the area where I showed you where the toddlers uh, splash area was. There's actually more pool over there because this is a large pool. A lot larger than any other pool here at Walt Disney World. Again, a mini water park all to itself, which is why they have that secure access. Something that's only available to your beach and yacht club guests. A lot of fun. Let's go and see what else they have here. Due to there being a lot of kids around, I don't want to get up too close, but you will see that the Lazy River is down here over that ledge I was mentioning before. You're going to see some more shallower pool, but it is quite big for your guests, anyone staying here, as well as some plenty of sand area for the kids to play in. So that concludes our tour of Storm Along Bay. Now I think we're going to head back to the room to get ready for dinner at Ale & Compass. We have made it to Ale & Compass restaurant. We just checked in. Let's head on inside. So looking at the menu, we've got our starters. We're going to get those Parker House rolls and spread with bacon jam, pub cheese, and citrus butter. And then as far as entrees, Anthony is going to get that short rib French dip flatbread, which has that braised short rib, marinara, sweet peppers, cheddar, herb ranch, arugula, good lemon juice, and chili flake and au jus. And then Christy is going to get the Papa Del Pasta with spinach, sauteed mushrooms, rubble tomatoes, roasted garlic cream, and citrus gourmelada. Lorelai well, is going to get the same thing, but she's going to add shrimp. And then I am going to go for probably their best item on the menu, the New England Seafood Pot Pie, which has shrimp, scallops, jumbo lump crab, their sustainable catch of the day with baby carrots, and that catch of the day is swordfish, pearl onions, peas, potatoes, and crustacean cream with a flaky crust. Our Parker House rolls have just come out. We've got the citrus butter, the bacon jam, and then the pub cheese. We get this every time we're here because they are amazing. So first, I'm gonna do the bacon jam on a piece of this Parker House roll. Because it is a jam, it does have a sweetness to it, but the smokiness of the bacon is right on point. Next up, we're gonna do the citrus butter on that roll. I'm not sure if it's a lemon or lime that's in there, but it's definitely one of those two citruses. Um, but the, just it's not overly overpowering, but if you like lemon and lime and a plus of butter, it's a good mix. I think my favorite though, is gonna be the pub cheese, as you can see right there. Hopefully that focuses in. Not really, okay. That's okay, we're gonna eat it anyway. The pub cheese reminds me like a mixture of pimento and the cheese you would get in those winter packages when you have the cheese and sausage and you get like that soft cheese that comes with it or like a cheese roll you would get during the holidays. That's what it reminds me of. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our appetizer. When the entrees come out, we're gonna show you those and enjoy the rest of dinner. Our entrees have arrived and here is the pot pie. Pretty huge, magnificently gorgeous. Lorelai has her pasta there, the shrimp pasta. Doesn't that look really good? Yeah. 
And then Christy has her shrimp pasta. And then Anthony has, he's already going at it on his French dip there. How's, how's that gonna taste? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that is good. That is so good. I think that's enough said right there. Just so good, there we go. So I'm gonna dig into this pot pie now. I'm sadly bursting this uh, flake, but I'm taking it off actually. I'm gonna try a little bit of this sauce. Actually, I'm gonna show you right now. The crust actually comes up for like a cap, and then you see it's like a, the red sauce there it's because it's a seafood stock and broth. We're gonna try some of this because it looks really good. You can taste a little bit of tomato in there. Very savory. Just the mixture of pot pie with the seafood, the shrimp in here, scallops in here. Um, I haven't tasted the swordfish yet. A lot of potatoes, big chunks of carrots. Daniel, our server, is like, this is like the most popular thing on the menu. Probably their best thing on the menu, one of his favorites. I've had this, this multiple times here. If you like pot pies with seafood, absolutely give it a try. So how is that uh, pasta handling over there, Lorelai? <laughs> Thumbs up. There we go. Ellen Compass, great location at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. Easy to get to also from the Beach Club side. A popular place we love coming to a lot. Uh, one of our favorites. And we're gonna enjoy the rest of dinner and maybe there's some dessert later or we'll take you to some other evening activities. But stay tuned and we'll see you in a bit. We've got our dessert menu here. Of course, they have a selection of after dinner drinks, some dessert sparkling wines, sweet wines, after dinner cocktails. But their desserts, they have actual desserts. We have a lemon curd meringue pie, which apparently has got a little bit of a basil salt. Interesting dessert. We're not gonna do that today. It comes with pickled blueberries. We have a mango torch spice lemon pound cake. Looks good. But we're gonna go for that warm apple cobbler. Can't beat. Spice granny with apples with butter streusel and frozen vanilla custard. And they also have a 12 layer chocolate cake if you're into chocolate. Apparently, our server Daniel said that's to die for. Also, you've got some coffees and then also some twining teas. And our apple cobbler has arrived. Look at that. It is in a hot pot. I can feel that steam coming right off that pot. And that ice cream looks like it's melting real good. So, I just had a bite of that apple cobbler. I have no words. It's amazing. The vanilla custard is great. Reminds me of Culver's, which if you're from the Midwest, you should probably know about Culver's, especially like that Ohio, Indiana area. They have them down here in Florida as well. Very good, not overly sweet. And that's really gonna conclude our Ale Compass dinner. But Christy and I are gonna have a little another journey here in a little bit. Right after this, we're gonna take you to a spot on the boardwalk that I think if you like, Specialty drinks, you're gonna really enjoy it. For all the years I've been to Disney, I've never actually been on the boardwalks for some of the evening entertainment. But unfortunately, that's actually not why we're here today. We're actually here to try out a location that we've gone to before, but wanted to show you what it's like in this great location. What location is that? We are here at Abracadabar, an awesome place to get some curious concoctions. So starting from the exit, if you look around the scenery here, it is a magician's paradise. We've got the bar area over there with some wonderfully shelled liquor and then just a slate of mirrors, kind of significant of the imagining of really sight play that magicians have, and then some cool like, magician's posters on the side. Although Abracadab Bar is your standard bar with wines and beers and bar snacks, we are here for their handcrafted cocktails. Ones that we thought about was like the Who Done It's Punch, which is Captain Morgan, orange juice, pineapple juice, coconuts, Another one that sounds really good is that Seashore Sweet, which is absolute citron and Minute Maid lemonade and cotton candy syrup. But we're gonna try the Magic Mirror, which is that Bacardi rum, soda water, honey mango syrup, Sprite, and lime juice. It sounds really good, and I think we've had that one before. So here is our Magic Mirror. It actually shows up much better in the lighting and the camera than it does in person, but it's got that like lavender hue to it. Very good. You gonna give that a try there, Christy? Okay. 
is really good. It definitely, it has your citrus leaf flavor. The mango does pop, but it does have like a lavender taste. Does it make sense? <laughs> so the lavender color is more than just the color. It actually, it tastes like to it, but it's good. And there's no lavender in it though. That's, that's the weird, the weird part. It's like maybe it's because of the sprite and all the other mix in it, and then the rum actually has a spice to it. So maybe that's what it is. But. I don't know if I'm gonna get any of that. It's good. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. All right, let me go ahead and give this a try it out. It's really good. The question is, how dangerous is this drink gonna be? Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> oh, very dangerous. I do, I do have that. There is that floral taste that she's talking about, kind of like that lavender. I, I think the syrup is maybe what it is. I don't know, cause it's a honey mango syrup, but. Very enjoyable and um, almost like the lime rind actually too. I think it's almost like there's a there's a taste of that. I don't know. It's not, I don't think there's no bitters in it. So we're gonna finish this and um, yeah, maybe try another one. We'll see. Now that we finished our drink, I wanted to check out the other side of the wall where we were sitting and see some cool little trinkets there. See some locks and keys, some posters. They have the chains that they use to try to get their things out of. Looks like some coins and other different magical things. Now that we've done exploring Abracadabar, let's go ahead and check out some actual magical entertainment here on the boardwalk. Step right up, gather around. It's a free show, it's a family friendly show. It's the only magic show on Disney property. It's the best show on the boardwalk, if you ask me. Maddie, we're gonna make this good luck charm, and it's gonna, you're gonna, your job is the most important part. While you're watching this also, if you'd like to follow along with Maddie, I encourage you to do this, because this feels really good, and it doesn't cost you anything. Now you did such a good, wow Maddie, that is warm. Wow, that must have been a good memory, we don't have to talk about it now. That energy that Maddie put into this is so powerful, watch what you can do. You can shake this energy down, Maddie, watch the tail. Actually, watch the times, watch the pokey things, they're gonna open up because of that energy that you put into this. Watch, that happy memory is what makes us a good luck charm look. Ow. I know that's what I said when I first saw this. I was like, get out of town. Now I know it's a little hard to see at first, but watch what you can do with this. You can shake this energy down, Maddie. It gets top heavy and the top of it falls down like 20 degrees, Maddie, look. Uh, gravity pulls all that energy down to one side, look, and it starts to pull it down because of that energy that you put into this. Maddie is actually amazing at this. I don't know if all of you can see this from where you're standing or sitting or from when you're, where you're watching right now, but look at the times, look at the pokey things. They're opening up inside of Maddie's hands. Look at this, look. That's in her hands. Actually, I can feel the whole thing getting really funny in there. Can you feel it changing? You're not just playing along with me, are you? I knew you'd be honest. Turn your hand over, Maddie. Open it up and look at what you did, look. Stunned, speechless look, I'm gonna show everybody. Maddie twisted that 360 degrees all the way around like a noodle, like a piece of plastic, like it was nothing in her hands. Here's the secret. When you have enough people focused on one idea, you would be amazed at what you can make happen. You wanna talk about real magic, watch this. Keep your hands up towards Maddie. Imagine that fork is gonna melt and you're gonna see it start to, wow, it's a powerful group. I can feel it already, Maddie, look with nothing, look. Everybody take a big deep breath in. Let it out slow. Look, you can see it start to go, Maddie. Look, with nothing, watch. Good catch, Maddie, just like we rehearsed it. Y'all give it up for it, Maddie for being so brave up here. Way to go, Maddie. I'd like all of you please to think about a celebrity, somebody famous. So change your mind a couple times. Think about one person, anybody at all, dead or alive, past or present, male or female, even watching at home. Think about any celebrity. Anybody at all to help us build the anticipation. You know what I'm talking about. I want you to print that celebrity's name for me nice and clearly here. When you're done, close it up, Chris, so nobody can see it. I'm not gonna look. This is just in case we have to verify it when things go very badly wrong. We don't know each other, Chris. This is random. You could have thought about any person. Clearly, this is off the top of your head. You had zero idea you were gonna help participate in anything like this tonight. That's how random this is. I can't change my mind now. I'm committed, or I should be, as they say. Who was the person you were thinking about? Neil Patrick Harris, everybody give it up for my friend Chris. I don't know about you, but that was awesome. Really cool what he did there with the two, uh, the two selections there in his mind. And then also the fork. Not something we've done before here on the boardwalk. 
but we're going to see what else they have around. If you like what you've seen so far, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and let's continue our evening. Guys, I said we're open for business. Let's go. We have a show to do. Whoa! That's right, folks. We are the Skip Easy, the world's one, the world's only jump rope theme speakeasy. Now we call ourselves the Skip Easy because out here on the dance floor, we make the skipping look very easy. But after about a minute of skipping, whoa! We will not be speaking very easily. And now, here I come. Them out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Here come the triples. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Yes, and here we go. Count with me, everyone. With three, one, go. you enjoyed that performance there by the Skip Easy team and again thank you so much for joining us on our Disney's Yacht Club journey even though we did spend some time at Disney's Beach Club Resort and the Disney's Boardwalk. If you want to keep up to date on all things Disney please make sure you like and share this video as well as subscribe to our channel and until next time I hope you have a great big beautiful day and we will see you real soon.